Hi, just, the, uh, just a quick word before we start the first episode. The, um, <clears throat> the layout of these episodes will be in, uh, in probably short 10 minute, 20 minute segments depending on what the, uh, the subject is. And uh, what I'll aim to do is all odd numbered episodes will become uh, for digital and all even ones will become analog until we get to a point where we start mixing them. And uh, so, without further ado, uh, let's get on to episode one. Hi, welcome to episode one of the uh, PSU Design Series. Um, in this episode we'll be discussing the uh, MCP3304, which is the, uh, says it's a 13-bit ADC, but technically it's a 12-bit one. Um, the 13th bit is actually the sign bit when you're using differential mode, but we'll be using single ended mode, uh, which means it'll be a 12 bit ADC, which is good enough for us. Uh, here's the uh, the chip itself, see if I can get the number up for you. Uh, you want to get into focus. Anyway, it's a, uh, it's a microchip part, MCP 3304C. And it's, uh, we're going to be using it as an 8 channel single ended ADC. Uh, we'll be using the SPI bus, some people call it the SPI bus, but I just call it the SPI. And um, yeah, I've been uh, experimenting with it with the Arduino. I, uh, I, I ported my um, driver code from, the, uh, from PIC to Arduino. It took me a little while, but it's, uh, it's a bit banged up, unfortunately. Which means it's all, all done in software, no SPI hardware is used at all to drive it, which eventually will get around to porting to SPI hardware, thus making it a little faster and less load on the CPU. Um, but yeah, the, um, the MCP3304 it uses a successive approximation register. Uh, technique for um, deriving its, uh, its its binary representation of the of the uh, sampled voltage. Um, so su successive approximation, basically how it works is, in say inside an ADC has a an actual has a as a DAC inside it. And it. Okay, now the way that works is. It will set the highest bit, and the rest will be all low, of the uh, the DAC, the internal DAC, and it will compare it to the in, the uh, sample, which is input. And if the um, if the DAC output is is lower than the uh, the sample, then it will keep the high bit set at the top, and then it will move to the next most significant bit, and it will set that high. If that's still, if the DAC's still lower than the sample, then it'll keep that high and move to the next one. But if the if the DAC's output is higher than the sample, it will clear it and then move it to the next bit, and um, and it will continue on all the way through the entire range, which is uh, 12 bits in this case. And the uh, the final output will be a close approximation in binary of the uh, the input voltage. Has been sampled, and it does this really fast. And yeah, and it will multiplex between all eight channels to uh, to provide you an eight channel of the eight channels for the for the ADC. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything here. But um, <clears throat> what I like to use, I like to use a 4.096 volts reference on it. Unfortunately, this ADC chip has an external reference. And and I'm using the MCP. Uh, did I write it down. No, I didn't write it down. <laughs> I think it's a four one. Let's see. I actually have it here on the board. Um, it's a one five four one MCP one five four one, which is a four point zero nine six volt reference, and. Uh, I choose that over a 5 volt reference because basically with all the uh, 
the bits it comes down to like uh, exactly to like one millivolt or a half a millivolt per count on the ADC which makes it easier for the uh, calculations afterwards um, you know makes it a nice clean round number for, uh, for processing um, but yeah anyway I've um, I've set up the computer with uh, the Arduino and, uh, and the ADC in action and I'll, uh, I'll show you that now okay so there's my Arduino board this is the MCP3304 this is an MCP4822 this is actually a, a 12 bit DAC but we, uh, we can ignore this one for now because all we're concentrating on is the uh, ADC in this, uh, in this video uh, that's the uh, 4.096 volt reference and you need a 1 to 10 microfarad um, cap on the output to keep it stable otherwise it uh, doesn't come out right which I've, uh, I've actually seen it happen before okay. now this is running my uh, my code I wrote so I'm running on a Mac right now I'm developing both PC and Mac at the same time I got the main PC upstairs and uh, anyway I put a pot on channel 0 and uh, let's see if I can bring open the serial monitor okay now what you see there is a representation of the uh, of the input it jumps around a bit it's only averaging it uh, probably 20 times at the moment but um, I'll eventually work on a bit more stable average on it, so ok I'm going to turn it right down to zero and turn it all the way up to the highest range, there we go and that's the uh, <coughs> that's the driver in action now this code here will be available um, there's the connections the code I, I'll show you the uh, it won't have the DAC written on it because it was um, it was originally written before I added the DAC to the board but I have to disable the DAC so it doesn't interfere with the ADC right now um, basically what happens is uh, the channel gets selected then it gets pulsed a couple of times um, so we we then clock in in the um, blank bit, an old bit, and then the sign bit, which we're ignoring, and then the 12 bits of data gets clocked in and then returned to the function. That's all it does, over and over again. And, uh, and this code is set to um, to um, get the value of channel zero. Using an average, actually, so it's average ten times. Sorry, <clears throat> and then it outputs it, delays fifty milliseconds, and then continues again. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it <clears throat> functions quite well. And, uh, um, I spent a long time banging my head against the wall trying to. Uh, get the example code for the uh, MCP3304 working and then in the end I just decided to port the code I was using on the PIC and uh, so the same with the, the MCP4822 but that's for a different video that'll be in the next the next digital video I do <clears throat> but today's video is all about this chip <clears throat> which I'll be showing some uh, some schematics next. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So here we have the schematic that I'm using on that board right now. Um, I can ignore the uh, the MCP4822 at the moment. But as you can see at the top is the MCP 1541, the 
4.096 reference and uh, yeah that goes into the uh, to the ADC the DAC has its own reference thankfully and, uh, yeah we have the eight channels on the left and the connections to the Arduino on the right it's a very very simple interface to use once you get it up and running and I've used it on many different many different designs and it's, uh, it's, it worked nicely I, uh, I'm quite happy with it and the uh, the code will be available on uh, on my website, which I'm uh, which I'll link below. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, sorry this video is a little short, but uh, it's as much information I have as I have on this chip right now. And uh, if any more comes about, I will add it. But, um, but I'm going to keep all these videos. Not very long, but short enough to um, you know take up too much time, and I'm trying to get them out regularly. So uh, hopefully we'll expand on these videos as we go along. But for now, this is the uh, the MCP MCP3304 in action, and uh, I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.